Hello guys, and welcome back. Um, wow, a lot of changes. First of all, new title card. Um, second of all, widescreen. Ooh, look at all this extra space I have. <laughs> what am I going to do with it? Uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, a few changes since the last time um, I recorded. Um, so as I recall, we came back from the cave. Um, do I still have everything on me? I still have everything on me. I didn't dump it. I literally, I, yeah. I must have just got back then. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to recap on what happened. But yeah, I was taking some screenshots for the title card, and look what happened. Look, look what happened. Ah! Merchant, merchant came and joined us. Um. So that's really cool. So we finally got our merchant, which must mean 51 silver coins. Hell yeah. Um, the only downside about the um, widescreen is that it's not completely supported throughout the game. So there are some things that will make it um, kind of bug out a bit. And one of those things is the breath is in the middle of the screen. And also when I get mana, and normally the stars, the mana stars would be along the right side of the screen. But they will just be in the middle of the screen. So I don't know what we're going to do when that happens. I might have to, because I don't want to go back to 800 by 600 because it's an absolutely horrible resolution. But equally, I don't want to have a mana bar sticking in the front of my screen. So... I guess we'll just have to play it by ear, see how it goes. And the other thing is the merchant, the speech bubbles are all off as well, but that's not a big thing. So we can buy from him a piggy bank. I think piggy banks are used to transfer items between worlds. I could be wrong on that, but I think that's what they're used for. Anvil's obvious, we've got one of them. We've got the copper stuff. We can finally buy potions. That is really useful, and you can buy torches and a mining helmet. Provides light when worn, and that's really cool. I wouldn't mind one of them, but it's eight gold. <laughs> Jesus, shurikens, ten damage. Now these are really cool. I want to buy one because I want to show you guys. They're kind of like arrows, except that they don't stop when they hit an enemy. They just keep going through. Um, apparently they're really useful for one of the boss creatures. I have Cthulhu, but um, I don't know. I've never fought him, so. I want to try and find an enemy to throw it at, but well, we'll come to that, we'll come to that, I guess. Um, a few update, updated things. I went on the wiki, I learnt a lot. <laughs> um, one of the. Actually, before I go back out to that cave, we should. friggin' smelt everything up and put it all away I think is the best course of action but I'll tell you about a few things while I've got you here um, the first thing I wanted to tell you about is the corruption some people don't know what it is it's a biome on the surface and it contains lots of bad mobs <laughs> and it's also one of the only places that you can find chasms now chasms are um, normally completely covered in ebon stone which is the purple stone which I couldn't break and they can only be broke with nightmare picks or demonite picks um, dynamite can also be used to break that so I think I now know how we're going to get through that cave we're going to use this dynamite here um, the other way you can deal with them is to use purification powder which will turn the ebon stone into normal stone however uh, oh, a bit confused there. However, um, you need a druid to do that, or a dryad. I don't know how you pronounce that. Apologies. Um, oh god, drop that. Um, what else does I want to talk to you about? <laughs> I have a whole list here, but none of it seems really relevant anymore. I can't do anything to iron or to copper. Let's put this all away for now. Uh, keep the bombs out. Um, I wanted to talk to you about the 
NPCs and how, how they all spawn and stuff. Um, obviously the merchant comes when you have 50 plus silver. Um, the nurse comes when you increase your life hearts. You do this by finding a life crystal or something like that. So once we increase our life then it's a chance for the nurse to spawn. Also, um, arms dealers come when you have a firearm. So I have to find that in a cave somehow. Don't know how I'm going to do that, but so I need a firearm. <laughs> um, and then finally, demolitionists. They come when you obtain bombs. Now I've got a bomb, so I'm wondering if I can now spawn one. I don't know. So I'm going to build another hut, see if a uh, demolitionist will spawn. If not, it's no loss to me. I'm not really fussed, but it's always a plus if we can get one to spawn. Um, wow, that was a lot of information. <laughs> Jeez. Um, oh yeah, Dryad, or Dryad, Druid, I don't know. I think it's Dryad, because Druid's spelled another way. But Dryad are spawned when you defeat a boss mob. So, God, I'm going to have to fight a boss mob eventually, and it ain't going to be pretty at all. <laughs> you see what I'm like against normal guys oh Jesus so yes a lot of information there I hope some of it was useful I did talk an awful lot shuriken <laughs> oh I suck so hard <laughs> God, that was terrible. Um, am I going to make it to the... I'm just going to have a fucking run for it. Why not? Run for the cave. So yeah, when I get to this cave, I have a plan to use dynamite on it to open up part of the chasm. The part that I could see through into another section of the cave but I couldn't get to. So the idea is we're going to chuck some dynamite down there, see how much damage it does and, you know... See if we can continue on exploring. Well, that's the plan anyway. But knowing me, I'll throw the dynamite at the wall. It'll bounce back, hit me, explode. I'll die, lose all my stuff. <laughs> so... I really should have built that another hut. Really. Before I set out, but... There's plenty of time to do that another time all the time in the world and um, off topic I was when I was trying to do capture some footage for the title card it was night time and um, it seemed a lot brighter than um, it previously was I don't know if that was just because it was the kind of time of day like it wasn't completely pitch black but um, it might be good because it might mean that you might be able to see now during nighttime adventures, nighttime excursions, which is good because it gives me no excuse to go out at night time now. Um, I will still try and keep a torch handy because it's just easier, both for me and for you, but it doesn't give me any qualms with switching to my sword now because I know that you guys have a better chance of seeing. But only time will tell, you know. I don't know until I upload it to YouTube, unfortunately. Oh god. I've got more bloody mushrooms than I know what to do with. Another thing I need to find is sand. Sand can be used to make glass, and glass can be used to make uh, glass like uh, potion vials. And, um,. They'd be really useful because then I can make my own potions with mushrooms. So I'd be living the dream if I could do that. Right, guys, here here goes nothing. Ah! Well, that sucked. <laughs> there goes my plan. 
I just wanted to break through. Oh, that sucks so hard. But I got some ebon stone out of it. Which I suppose is a plus. I don't I'm not sure quite sure what you do with it yet, so we'll see. Gives us something else to work with anyway. Wasn't a complete loss. I wonder if bombs do damage to it. Because I have plenty of them and only one dynamite. We'll see. I'll throw a bomb. Why do they always fall? No, they don't do any damage to Evanstone. Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to see if I could get away with it. Hopefully when the dem demolitionist spawns we can um, get our hands on some more dynamite and have another go at that. God, I'm... Sucking. I don't know. I always suck, so there's not much difference there, but... <laughs> Alright, back down in the cave, eh? God. Oh, it's dark. I don't like it. Useful. Useful. <laughs> more pots. More mud. Oh, don't want to do that. Sorry, mud. But for some reason, I have a fascination with you. Can you hear that? It's like a tapping. Like a tink, tink, tink. Is that new? Because I swear to God that never happened before. Oh, you guys will have to tell me because I, I don't know. I swear that didn't make that noise before, but who knows. Wipe out. Oh god, okay, we're going down further now into the cave, you can tell because the background's changing, it's got stones in it now. This means that we've ventured into another part, another biome, a more dangerous biome. Um, I shouldn't have done that, I should have made a safe route down, oh god. So, um, this will be fun, I guess. made a nice pathway for the zombie to come and get me but <laughs> I guess this is where the real action begins I can see some iron up there to the left which is cool um, I also want to get over there so I'm going to make another outrun the zombie <laughs> not quite that <laughs> I want to grab some of this spider as well so I can finally make a bed but we'll see we'll see can you take it down with arrows oh thank the lord There's a bit caught up there. Oh. Can I? <laughs> right there we go. That sort of took care of that. Now we need to get up here somehow. Why did it go dark? Did I have a torch out or something? Must have done. But yeah, I'm really liking this new sound. If it is new, it has to be, because I never noticed it before. But I'm liking it. It actually makes me feel like I'm mining. Oh, Zomble. Snipe him. Oh no, he's useless. As long as it's one enemy, I'm alright, but as soon as it gets into double...